Buying food in bulk, especially buying grains in bulk, has definitely been something that I know is on a lot of people's mind. It's actually something that we have been doing for years. We live so rurally and we often have times where we've had mudslides take out roads and had trouble getting where that we've always kept a good backup food storage system. And when you're buying stuff in bulk, most of the times you're going to be able to get it cheaper. So it's great on the budget as well as peace of mind. But where are the best places and some of the best grains to buy in bulk? Well, I've got lots of options for you. So no matter where you live, we'll probably have a solution that will work for you. I have to say in all of the years that we've been buying in bulk, the place that I'm buying the most of my things in bulk now from is Azure Standard. So Azure Standard, um, there will be a link beneath this video. You can go and check them out if you've never heard of them before, but they are all the way across the United States now. But what it is, is you go in and you place an order and they have really large bulk items. They have a lot of organic, some is their own brand and then others is smaller local farms or local brands and you can purchase that from them. But you place your order and you have a drop spot that you actually go and pick up your order. So you put in your zip code, it will show you the drop zones and the times and places near you. Then you place your order and then you go and pick them up. But I've been able to find cheaper than anywhere else and a greater variety of bulk items from them. So that's one of my favorite places. Plus I kind of love that I just go and I take my truck and I go to the drop spot and I pick it up and I don't actually have to go in the store and try to pull things out. And I know ahead of time if it's already on the shelf, so to speak, because when you go to place your order, if it's out of stock, it tells you there's nothing, especially with gas prices like they are now. I do not want to drive to a store only to find that what I want is not in stock or is unavailable. So I really like the convenience and the prices of Azure Standard. but. There's also your advantage to buying local. I do love to support local whenever I can, but depending upon where you live, you might not have due to climate or just where you're at, they may not have local sources, but definitely check out local grain mills and local farms to see if it's something that they offer. Here where I live in the Pacific Northwest, we actually have a couple of different local uh, granaries and places that we can get grains in bulk. One of them is the Palouse brand. And you can order from them directly online from their website. So anytime you're ordering directly from the source, you're usually getting a really good deal. So this is one option. Fairhaven Mills for me is also close. So you can go and check these, check them out. But I definitely recommend just taking some time on a search engine in your area and seeing if there is any local granaries near you and see if you can order from them. Another option is, this is directly from the source. It's in Idaho, which is a sister state to me, but einkorn.com is another place that you can buy einkorn, which is an ancient grain. It is a ancient form of wheat. And a lot of people find, even if they have gluten sensitivities, that they can actually use and bake with einkorn and it doesn't bother them. And you can order this directly from einkorn.com. So again, kind of going directly from the source is going to be your best bet. However, you can find whole grains at some grocery stores. So even if you aren't able to get some online, even in your grocery stores, you can go and find, usually if they have a whole food section or a bulk section, you'll be able to buy them at least in you know one or maybe up to five pound bags, kind of depending on it. So you can check out your local stores, but it will usually be in stores that have more of a whole foods bent or at least a whole foods and or a whole food bulk section, you know, where it kind of has like the, the big bins and you scoop it out and measure it yourself and put it in bags, those types of stores. Just your regular, regular grocery stores may not have where you can actually get you know, wheat berries. Um, most of them you get whole rice, or you can get things like quinoa. But when we're really talking about different varieties of wheat in the wheat berry form, which is what they are. They look like a kernel, but they call them a wheat berry. Um, those can be a little bit harder to find at local stores. You actually also can get some of these from Amazon. Now, when it depends on like how much should you store and what are the best ones, that's gonna depend upon what you're actually using and 
planning to bake and cook and use these items for. So for example, if you plan on doing a lot of bread baking, then you're gonna wanna make sure that you get a hard wheat berry variety because it has a higher amount of gluten as well as protein. And when we're baking bread, we really want those gluten strands to be developed so that we get that nice texture and everything like that. So looking for a hard wheat berry variety for bread baking. I personally, there's hard white and there's hard red. I personally prefer the hard white. I feel like it has, it does have less tannins in it, hence it's a little bit lighter color, but it, it tastes a little bit closer to all-purpose flour, I would say. It doesn't have, bitter's not quite the right word, but a little bit of that. And so I found that my kids like the bread that's made from the hard white wheat versus the hard red wheat. So that's what we buy. Now, as for the amount, that's gonna depend on how many people you have in your family, how often you're actually using these. But the good news is when you're buying them in the whole form like this, provided that you're storing them out of direct light in a cool environment and trying to remove as much oxygen as possible and keeping them sealed up, they will store for years when they're in this whole form versus your flour that's already ground is much shorter shelf life. So I feel that grocery prices usually just continue to go up and up and up, even if we look historically and not at the time of this recording where we're definitely seeing huge jumps in prices for various reasons. Buying it in bulk is just an insurance for saving me money and peace of mind further down the road. So I prefer to buy our hard white wheat berries in 25 or 50 pound bags. And then for long-term storage, what you see on the counter there where I've got them just in the smaller jars, that's for things that we're gonna be using right away within probably the next six months or so. But for my long-term storage, these five gallon buckets is really a great way to go. You do wanna make sure that they're food safe. This was actually a bucket that I had ordered filled with um, the wheat berries from Amazon years ago. I'm trying to remember how many years ago I ordered this. It's been a while, but I refill it with stock that I buy from Azure Standard now or wherever I'm getting the best deal with the 25 and the 50 pound bags. I put them in here. Now I actually swapped out the lid on this bucket for a gamma lid. So this is great because you can see here, just like this, it's completely sealed. So this allows me to screw it all the way down without having to try to pop pop this off all the time. And I've got some oxygen absorbers in here and then you can see when I'm refilling that I just use this as my scoop here. I use one of these wide mouth uh, mason jars. So this, when I've got this uh, screwed all the way back down and sealed, and then I store this in our back pantry, which is a cool area. This is not gonna let light in, but it's still an area that's not getting a lot of light. Th these will store for upwards of 10 years. If they're completely sealed and you're not getting into them, you know, even close to 20 years. So this is a great way to ensure that you've got food down the road. Um, but I also recommend that you're buying things that you know how to cook and you use when you're buying your grains in bulk and you definitely start with the grains that you're already using in your cooking. Now, of course, as I said, hard white wheat is our preference because that's what I use predominantly for our bread baking and biscuits and things like that. If you're looking to do more like pastries or cookies or those types of treats, then you wanna have either soft white wheat or something like spelt and or einkorn. These don't have the higher levels of gluten, which can make delicate baked goods uh, more tough, so you actually wanna have less gluten. So what type of grains that you plan on buying, especially in bulk, are gonna depend on how you plan on using them down the road will help you determine which kind. As far as price goes, the hard white and the hard red, or and or soft, but it's the red and the white wheats, those are the ones that usually you're going to find for the cheapest amounts. Um, spelt is also an ancient grain, but it's not as expensive as einkorn. As far as ancient grains go, einkorn is probably one of the more expensive grains. Now, and it's not just wheat berries though. You can also do uh, quinoa. So quinoa is something that I we buy in bulk and use. Also rice, if you are looking to buy rice in bulk, you actually want to do white rice. Brown rice can go rancid and can go bad faster. So white 
right? White, r say that one three times fast. White rice is actually the one that you want to have on hand if you're buying in bulk and not going to be going through it in a quick time. Um, white rice is your best bet. And then of course you've got even your other grains like this is popcorn, but regular dried corn. We like to buy those in bulk. And I also like to get, I just don't actually, um, I didn't have any to pull out easily. We're in construction now actually creating a larger pantry storage. And so normally I have all of my back food storage in rows and it's really easy accessible. But right now we have some in our living room, we have some in our bedroom, it's kind of all over the place. Um, but getting non popcorn, but just regular dried um, corn, you can also grind that up for cornmeal um, and different things like that. So a lot of times when you think about buying grains in bulk, a lot of people automatically just think like the wheat berries. Um, but there's a whole plethora of them. And the great thing is there's a lot of different ways to use these grains. It's not just bread baking. You can make porridges out of them. You also can add quinoa, the wheat berries, and even the rice, obviously. You can add those to soups and stews. But I know a lot of people like to store the grains so that they can grind them into their own flour and be able to make bread and a lot of other of our favorite foods. So you can go and catch this video that walks you through how to grind your own flour at home, as well as tips for baking with fresh ground flour so that your items actually turn out and are edible.